Is there more toil? Let me remember thee what thou hast promised. How now? What is't thou canst demand? <laughs> My, uh... Equality? No creature may come near to equal Prospera. That lies beyond my power to bestow. My liberty. Thy liberty? Nay, this most of all I will not grant. Th that's not her line, is it? What's going on? But thou assured my freedom, didn't thou? I never said how dearly I hold thee. My habit's been to keep my soul well draped. Most loyal spirit, companion, and friend, is acting in my service not replete with excitement, amusement, and delight? Of course, mistress. Most truly it is so. Mr. Keat, they're way Shh. off script. It's magical. Then why, I pray you, wish you to be free? <clears throat> Excitement's a mere counterfeit of bliss. These storms and these adventures, I prefer to know thou still cared for my plainest self. I have thee in my grasp. I will not bend. I will not see thee flying forth alone. The envy would be more than I could bear. So come with me. Is that not in thy power? Spirit, take my hands. Most faithful friend. For but a little longer, I beseech. Continue in thy service to my schemes. And when they are complete, I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. I'll seek to make thy happiness so great that e'en the name of liberty is forgot. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Yes, I am most pleased. Your duty, done for now. So go forth hence with haste. I've work to do. Thanks, Chloe. Well done. An admirable effort. And the ending, absolutely transformative. I am humbled. <laughs> no problem. What the hell just happened? Of your Was story. that real? Heaviness in me. Shake it off. Come on. We'll visit Caliban, my slave. Tis a villain, sir. I do not love to look on. He does make our fire, fetch in our wood. What ho! Slave! Caliban! Come forth, I say! As wicked do as e'er my mother brushed! With raven's feather from unwholesome fen, drop on you both. A southwest blow on ye, and blister you all o'er. Thou poisonous slave, got by the devil himself, filth as thou art, I have lodged thee in mine own cell, till thou didst seek to violate the honor of my child. Oh ho, oh ho, would it had been done. Thou didst prevent me, I had peopled else this isle with Calibans. Fetch us in fuel, and be quick. So, slave, hence. Where should this music be? In the air, or the earth? This play is super intense. 
What is it? A spirit? It carries a brave form, but it is a spirit. No, wench. It eats and sleeps and hath such senses as we have. <laughs> I will resist such entertainment. Put thy sword up, traitor! Do you love me? O oh, heaven, O oh, earth, bear witness to this sound. I, beyond all limit of what else in the world, do love, prize, honor you. His tears run down his beard like winter's drops from eaves of reeds. Go release them, Ariel. My charms I'll break, their senses I'll restore, and they shall be themselves. Now my charms are all o'erthrown, and what strength I have's mine own. Pray, release me from my bands, with the help of your good hands. You're so dead. Yeah? How dead? Hella dead. Keaton's face behind you when you walked on stage? <laughs> I was shitting myself. <laughs> he was shitting himself. <laughs> that dude owes me. My dear, what if I told you that the entire fate of our production rests upon your slender shoulders? <laughs> I've never had an experience like that on stage. Yeah, right? You were... No, you. Like, seriously. I love nights after a show. <laughs> Is it always like this? Oh, totally. It's such a high. No more nerves, just the adrenaline. So, first timer, are you proud of yourself? Yeah, I feel really awesome. If you told me this morning I'd be this happy tonight. You've gone through so much shit today. Right now's pretty good. Okay, the whole show was good. I admit it. Yeah. <laughs> it was magical. Well, <laughs> everything's been magical since we started hanging out.
Let's leave. For real. For real, huh? You said you wanted to skip town and never look back. Like I said last night. Let's do it. <laughs> I know. I've been thinking about that all day. But that was... <laughs> Don't say it was just a crazy thought. You mean it. I can tell. You want this. Yeah, but... Like... Eventually. Let's go now. Didn't we already agree on stage? We can't just... <laughs> Why not? What about money? I thought you were a high rolling criminal now. Nah, I didn't like being a criminal as much as I thought. You're more over here than I think you realize. I think you're high right now. I'm <laughs> a no hero. We'll see. Anyway, I've got more than enough to start us out. I always get birthday money from my dad. Or should I say, hush money. Any more questions? How far could we possibly get without a car? I thought you were fixing that truck in the junkyard. I was just seeing if I could. Well? Can you, or can't you? Yeah. I can. In other words, we've got transportation covered. <sighs> I know our parents have been shitty, but we can't just leave them. That doesn't sound like Chloe Price. Wouldn't it hurt your mom? She doesn't deserve that, right? I don't deserve to live in the middle of my parents' mistakes. Right. Of course you don't. Fine then, drama queen. Where are we going? <laughs> you tell me. What uniquely twisted location does Chloe Price plus Rachel Amber equal? Hmm. <laughs> I'm feeling like an indefinitely long road trip. That sounds like the greatest idea anyone's ever thought of. You and me driving down the coast, filling up our truck with hilarious souvenirs and every night we'll find a different beach to walk along and watch the sun go down. I love this time of night. <laughs> Don't you just feel like everything's possible? <laughs> Rachel, stop. If you don't mean this, it's... It's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. For fuck's sake! I've never been more serious in my life. <laughs> <sighs> Chloe, what would it take to convince you? Give me a promise, in ink. Like, a contract? No. This is temporary. The deal is, you get it done for real. Then, I'll believe you. What if I said let's leave tonight? Really? What is this? It's 
obviously a sign. So? What do you say? Let's go sneak some clothes and stuff for my house. For you or for me? I gotta say, my clothes look damn good on you. Cool. Let's do it. And then, we'll get the hell out of Arcadia Bay. Fuck yes. Oh, you're home. Rose, Rachel's home. And she um, brought her new friend. Our star returns. You're just in time. Dinner's almost ready. Chloe, was it? It was. But that was before I was expelled. Now, it's that girl who used to go here. What was her name again? All one word. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to bring up any sore subjects. <laughs> Who's sore? Rachel, honey, you were resplendent tonight. Thanks. Chloe? You must join us for dinner tonight. Uh, she must? I must? Of course. I made chicken a la king. I'm sure you both acted up quite the appetite. Thanks, but I was just gonna stop in for a sec and then bounce. Oh, did you have other dinner plans? Dinner plans? <laughs> I always thought dinner was something that just sort of happens. Chloe, I know we didn't exactly meet each other at our best this morning, but with you and Rachel becoming such fast friends, I insist you join us for dinner. Don't you agree, Rachel? Yes, of course. Chloe, would you join us for dinner, please? Uh, <laughs> of course. Great. I just need to wash off, then I'll be right down. Don't be long. In meantime, perhaps you can help me with the table, Chloe? Sure thing, Mrs. Amber. Okay, I'm gonna go pack. After dinner, we can make our break. You cool down here? Just hurry back. I don't know how long I can keep this up. Try doing it your whole life. And, Chloe? We just need to make it through dinner. Try not to say anything that, you know... That I would normally say. Exactly. Just some quality time with the... Members. What could possibly go wrong? Huh. Rachel really was an overachiever before she met me. Glad I nipped that in the bud. 
I should stay down here until Rachel is ready. Hiya, Mr. Amber. Chloe, what can I do for you? So, you're a district attorney, huh? I'm your district attorney. So, I can call you if I'm ever district arrested? <laughs> what would you be arrested for? It was a joke. Not a good one, clearly. Your daughter's pretty great. Thank you. We're fond of her as well. You ever feel like she's so awesome at everything that you just want to shake her? Yeah. Uh, uh, me neither. <laughs> what do you think? I thought Rachel was perfectly cast. She certainly was. We're very proud of her. I had no idea they were going to do that. Do what? I don't know the name for it. Uh, reverse casting? Casting a, a woman as a man? Oh, I just meant the wizard part. Ah, uh, I suppose that's also true. Duty calls. <laughs> hey, good chat, Mr. Amber. Mm-hmm. They say all news is local. But, damn. I bet there's, like, not even a single Cheeto stuck in this thing. Doing the play was bad enough without having to re- hmm. How to clear browser history, followed by a gap for all of yesterday. That's like cheating asshat 101. Poor Rachel. Holy shit. That's the guy who attacked Drew. I know I did the right thing, giving Drew his money back, but... Man, I wouldn't want to be on this guy's bad side. Guess some families actually go to Paris instead of just talk about it their whole lives. Easy to see who wears the literary pants around here. Something else? Duty calls. <laughs> hey, good chat, Mr. Amber. Mm-hmm. How many cabinets do you need? Glasses. Damn, the Ambers are fancy as shit. Damn. Wonder if this is a family heirloom. Oh, I think that's an original who gives a shit. Everything about this house is nicer, cleaner, better, and more expensive than mine. Which isn't saying much, but still. Something about this photo doesn't seem right. I should fix it. Can't tag this while well, Rachel's mom is right there. She totally bust me. If I open this, will skeletons come spilling out? No skeletons. Lots of shiny dishes, though. <laughs> so clean.
mean? I bet Rose would kill it with my mom at the diner. Rachel and I both had great childhoods. Mine just ended a little before hers, I guess. What the Amber family considers entertainment looks a lot like what I consider homework. Solved it. Hey there, Mrs. Amber. Chloe, I'm so glad you're joining us tonight. You borrowed that shirt from Rachel. We call it the Rorschach shirt. What do you see? Uh, I guess I see a bird. Interesting. Well, wash it before you bring it back. So... <laughs> Rachel was pretty awesome tonight. Yes, she was. Though, to be fair, she's pretty awesome every night. I wish I were half as driven when I was her age. Me too. <laughs> I get the sense that you're a force of nature yourself. I can see why the two of you get along so well. You can? Because it still seems crazy to me. Integrity, honesty, Loyalty. What? It's on your lawn. Oh, right. Sorry. I guess I'm still getting used to being an elected official's wife. Those are some strong words. You think he lives up to them? He's fantastic at what he does. Of course, he's only human. Or subhuman. What? What? I, I thought you said something. Uh, nope. Yeah, uh, what did you think of the play? Rachel was typically amazing, but I never liked The Tempest. What did you think of it? To be honest, I didn't really read it. Yes, that was apparent in your performance. Ouch. Sick burn, Mrs. Amber. I'm sorry, was that mean? No. I deserve it. So, you putting me to work, or what? Yes. If you could please take four plates from the cupboard and set them on the table. Uh, what if I can't? Excuse me? You said if I could... Never mind. You're a riot, Chloe. All right, Chloe, you've set the table without ruining someone's marriage before. Piece of cake. It's off to the table with you. Yes, Chloe? Plates? Check. Anything else? Actually, could you be a dear and ask Mr. Amber what he'd like to drink with dinner? I will be a dear. Talking to James. 
As long as I can avoid using the words cheating and scumbag, I should be fine. Something else? What's your vice, Mr. Amber? I'm sorry? Your wife wants to know what kind of drink you're having. Ah, let's say sherry. Okay. One, two, three, sherry. Comical. Chloe, maybe you can help me understand something. I'll give it a shot. Rose and I, we're worried about Rachel. Yesterday was so unlike her. What do you suppose is going on? Besides all my bad behavior rubbing off on her, you mean? Hmm. Another joke. You tell me. It seemed like you and Wells were happy to believe that this morning. And you were all too eager to play into our expectations. In my experience, that's a tactic people use to cover for someone else. Rachel is her own person. She's responsible for her actions. I'd be lying if I said I didn't have concerns about your friendship, but perhaps you're exactly who Rachel needs right now as she navigates the choppy waters of adolescence. Uh... Thanks. Yes, Chloe? The boss man would like a sherry. Thank you. The glasses are in the china cabinet. You can place one at his setting. How am I supposed to get to China? Kidding. <laughs> it's the fancy looking cabinet, right? You got it. Uh. It's the triangle shaped one. Basic shapes. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. Yes, Chloe? What else? <laughs> Feel like I'm getting good at this. Only one last step. As our guest, you may do the honor of lighting the candles. The lighter is in the- It's cool. I've got my own. Oh. You never know when you'll need to light a candle. Right? You are a paragon of preparedness. Thanks. I, I think. Time to- Light some candles and less this joint up a bit. <laughs> Finally, Mrs. Amber has her back turned. <sighs> Time to fix this photo. Well, good. The Amber family and fire. What could possibly go wrong? So, Chloe, are you and Rachel in any of the same classes? Not since this morning. Oh, gosh. 
I'm so sorry. Nah, that's cool. <sighs> We're not. What about that fire? <laughs> <clears throat> Dinner's really good, Mom. Thank you, Rachel. The way the fire spreads so fast, I've never heard of anything like it. Yeah. It's scary. After those floods upstate, I was overjoyed we had less rain this year. Who knew a spring drought could be even more dangerous? You never know where a deadly spark will come from. It's certainly troubling. The latest report from the commissioner's office suggests arson. Arson? Why would anyone do that? Any number of reasons. With everything going on in the world today, even a town like Arcadia Bay isn't immune to the ills of society. I cannot imagine how difficult these last few years have been for you, Chloe. Now that you and Rachel have become friends, I want you to know that our home is always open to you. Cool. Thanks. Well said, dear. It's imperative in such troubled times as these that we remember what is most important to us. Family. Family's not merely a gift. It is a responsibility. As such, those we love must be cared for and never, ever taken for granted. Uh, yeah, that's super true. And also remember, Rachel, that even when shit's like the lamest ever, you can always run away from whatever's bothering you. As long as you just keep calm. An interesting philosophy, Chloe. Yes, indeed. Not one that I would endorse, however. I favor confronting my problems head on. But to each their own, I suppose. Oh, fucking blow me. Rachel! Ah, crap. I I'm so clumsy. Uh, Rachel, can you come help me find another Stop fork? It. Chloe. I can't sit here and listen to this bullshit anymore. Rachel! Stop it, Dad. You're a hypocrite. Okay? I know. You lying, cheating piece of shit, motherfucker. Excuse me? We saw you yesterday at the Overlook. James? Kissing that woman. James. Rachel? Honey, whatever you saw or think you saw, I know it's hard, but I need you to trust me. Think we saw? Are you trying to gaslight us? There's no thinking involved. We saw you locking lips with some other woman. That's enough. You are not welcome here or around my daughter any longer. I know exactly what kind of person you are from the moment I saw you, and I let my wife's compassion get the better of me. Oh? What kind of person is a that? A delinquent. A broken girl from a broken home. That's enough, James. I will not have you continue to speak to her like this. Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Stop lying! Stop being a politician for one fucking minute! Can't you just be my dad? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother.